Hey, it's Hope Johnson, the PR director here at WLOI. I'm here to help Ben out and welcome you to Baltimore with some more info. It's Halloween season, so let's start with a grave. Five blocks north of the hotel is Westminster Burial Ground, dating to 1786, and housing one of our most famous residents, Edgar Allan Poe's grave. This marble and granite grave site marks the burial site of the 19th century Gothic author who spent a good amount of his life here in Baltimore. There isn't much to see at the grave itself, but the grounds and catacombs are fascinating. For a deeper dive into the work of Poe, about 10 blocks west is the Edgar Allan Poe House Museum, the actual residence of the late Poe when he lived here long ago. A pleasant walk south along the Inner Harbor will take you to the incredible American Visionary Art Museum, which concentrates on folk art and is constantly rotating unusual exhibits by self-taught artists, setting it apart from most other art museums. The museum specializes in preserving and displaying this outsider work so that more independent artists can be recognized. It is next to the Federal Hill Park that served as a fortress overlooking Baltimore's Inner Harbor, so you will not find a shortage of things to look at or do in the area. Free Charm City Circulator Banner route buses also serve this area in the next couple of sites. A bit further down the Key Highway, we have the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Located in an old cannery, this cool museum highlights various types of manufacturing and industry from old Baltimore. From canning to cars, there are several hands-on sections with working equipment and amazing artifacts. Fun fact, the first presidential address on commercial radio was made right here in Baltimore at Fort McHenry in 1922. Speaking of Fort McHenry, a bit further down the road is one of the oldest military fortifications on the East Coast, Fort McHenry. Located in today's Locust Point neighborhood, Fort McHenry stands at the entrance to Baltimore's Inner Harbor. The fort that repulsed the British during the War of 1812 and the source of the Star Spangled Banner, Fort McHenry is open for guided tours, is accessible via water taxi or car, and has a beautiful park setting to spend time on the waterfront contemplating Rocket's Red Glare. Back on the north side of the harbor and only nine blocks from the hotel is the National Aquarium. The aquarium houses immersive exhibits including the upland tropical rainforest, a walk through multiple story Atlantic coral reef, and an open shark tank. And of course, it wouldn't be an aquarium without the dolphin training shows. Continuing two blocks east from the aquarium, we have the Reginald F. Lewis Museum of Maryland African American History and Culture, an incredible resource for information about the lives and history of African American Marylanders through themes of family, community, history, and art. The fairly new museum is reasonably priced and includes over 400 years of exhibits, 